This is Nick LaRue from Film Snobbery here at the First Glance Film Festival, the 25th annual First Glance Film Festival here in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania at the Colonial Theater, the Colonial Theater. And who am I here today with? Hello, I am Michael Lamara, and I was the cinematographer and co-writer of Let's Leave the Planet, a uh, romantic sci-fi comedy about uh, a guy who comes home from work one day and tells his girlfriend, hey, I'm actually an alien, and I'm leaving the planet because this place is going to shit. So, Based on a true story. Yeah. yeah. I come from another planet. This isn't funny anymore. And have you ever noticed that my eyes are always dilated? Uh-huh, because you're always stoned. No. I don't feel anything. Let's leave the planet. <laughs> so let me ask you real quick, what, um, you say co-writer? What part of the co were you? Were you more the idea man? Were you the punch up? Were you the, you know, were, was this a, uh, an idea that germinated, you know, together with the other, the other co-writer? Uh, so, yeah, it was a real-life inspiration. I am an alien, and I, I told my partner, hey, you know, wouldn't it be funny if I were just an anthropologist here to study the humans? And then one day I was like, let's get... And she goes, ha-ha. Huh? You know, because <laughs> you know, I, could, I could believe, you. like, we were, we were both maybe, you know, smoking a little bit. Yeah. And she goes, no, really, Michael. Like, that's a joke, right? You know? And so we started developing the idea. I thought it would be interesting. This is something that... I studied uh, anthropology in college as a, as a minor, um, and it's something I've always loved talking about where I had studied bonobos, and I just transferred that into looking at humans in the way that an alien might study, and so that's, that's how the character developed. Um, so I was definitely putting out the ideas, and one day we just started having this dialogue like we were the characters in the film. She just pulled out a laptop, started writing it all down, um, and that's how the script was born. <laughs> That's fantastic. We actually have something in common with that. My father did the same thing to my mom when they were dating. He literally was like, I'm not from this planet. And, and uh, to this day now, we actually believe him. Um, if you saw the, the head, uh, then that's, that's, that's definitely a gray in there somewhere, half, half gene type of thing. Um, so when you decided, okay, we're going to go ahead, we're going to make this into a movie, we're going to shoot this, talk about the cinematography influences that you wanted to go for when you, like, how did you see this in your head and translate that to an actual movie? Uh, definitely. So uh, we, have a, we have a great team. It's a, it's a film collaborative called Girl Soup. And there's four of us. We have an actor, a writer, a director, and then me as mainly a cinematographer. But we like to swap it up a little bit here and there. And so uh, this was in the middle of lockdown. Nobody had done anything creative for a long time. And we're just begging for it. So in New York City, when they, they started easing up on the, some of the restrictions, we said, OK, what can we shoot in one location, one night, outside? This film. You know, let's leave the planet. It's all on a roof in the Bronx. Um, and so what we had visioned was that the director and I were talking about, you know, what were our favorite films growing up? What can influence this? And it was 90 stoner comedies. Uh, and our actor, the same way, you know, he, he, he's like, I love those vibrant colors in the stoner comedies. And so we were really trying to uh, encapsulate all these ideas. Um, we shot it on something that I had available, which was just an A7S that, that I knew could uh, shoot in the dark. Uh, we, had, we had some, some you know, lenses that I, that I have threw it on um, and shot it all on a Moby gimbal because we wanted to light it once, and I could move around on the handheld gimbal, get a shot here, uh, and then just move over here for the, for the reverse shot, things like that. And that, that was how we just kind of did it all in one night. And so you, uh, you did it all in one night, and it, was there a challenge at all as you're going through the night? Obviously, it's getting darker, the, the lights or whatever. Obviously, also have, and I know you weren't the sound person necessarily, but you also had to deal with the sounds of the city. Mm -hmm. um, was there ever a time where you're like, we got to stop for a little bit to accommodate whatever's going on, or, you know, like the light's just not right. We can't get this done properly right this second. We're gonna have to like fi figure it out. Yeah. We're gonna have to indie the shit out of this. Yeah. Uh, so we we planned ahead with the light at least because we just waited 
for the sun to totally set. Uh, we were talking about sunrise, sunset kind of ideas, but we're like, no, we'll just leave it as you know, no sun. So it's all at night. We lit everything. It was easier to use smaller lights that way. We just had one giant bounce, and then some overheads that we leaned out over precariously over a ledge, you know, as like a big china, uh, as this like ball ball of orb of light. Um, and we kind of used those two to motivate a lot of like the street light. Uh, as if it was a street light. Mm -hmm. And this way we incorporated the sounds of the Bronx, of New York City, and allowed that to happen because you can't avoid it. You can't avoid, you know, cars honking, things like that, people just yelling from their, their you know, their, their windows. Anthony! Uh, totally, I mean, even one person. That's more Staten Island, I think we both know. <laughs> and You know, in the middle we had a, one lady like hanging out in the window watching us and she just goes, y'all making a movie? <laughs> We're like, we're in the middle of a take, you know? <laughs> we, we were making a movie. Uh. <laughs> but it was fun. Um, yeah, there were some challenges editing, for sure, sound-wise. But overall, our sound recorders did a great job. That's fantastic. And now you do have some connection here to uh, the Philadelphia area as well, and which, which is probably what brings you to the festival mm -hmm. uh, a lot easier than some other filmmakers. Um, we talked a little bit about, have you been to this theater before? Yeah, so I, I grew up about 30 minutes from here in a... A s smaller area right around and I'll, I'll come here for a movie you know uh, I always enjoyed Phoenixville my, my parents and I would come here for dinner things like that and so it was really exciting that I got incorporated into the festival um, it's nice to come back and enjoy this place again um, and, and it's always cheaper to travel when you have family in the area Exactly. <laughs> well I want to thank you for coming by the festival I want to thank you and I hope you guys have a great uh, experience here and, and a good screening and uh, I, I wish you the best of luck with the future festivals. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.